Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out the card pile. Today I'm going to discuss the Louisville Slugger. And no, not the famous bat, but the player who the bat was named after. This is him right here, Pete Browning. This card is from the Superior Card Company, and it talks as if it's still in his playing days. There's a pretty bunch of cool information on there, but I'll tell you a little bit more in the story other than what's on the back of that card. Pete Browning played from 1882 to 1894, and he was basically an outfielder. He started his career as a, as a pitcher, but wasn't that very good. Moved him to the infield, and then to the outfield. He was a horrible fielder, horrible fielder. But the guy could hit. The guy could hit home runs, doubles, singles, triples. I mean, he could do it all. He won the batting title three times, and he's one of only two players to win the batting title more than twice in the 19th century. Uh, he was a weird cat. He uh, talked to his bats, gave them biblical names and things like that. He was a notorious drinker. Uh, he suffered an inner ear infliction that caused him a lot of pain, so he masked the pain with alcohol and probably other drugs, but mainly alcohol. And he was famously quoted as saying, I can't hit the ball until I hit the bottle. And he was notorious for being around Louisville and all the taverns and everything. Well, anyway, he mainly played for Louisville, like I mentioned, the Colonels in the American Association. And then he played one year in the Players League and then the rest of the time he played in the National League, like 12 years. He uh, was hitting one year in 1884 and he broke his bat. Just so happened that Bud Hillerich from the Hillerich Bradsby Lumber Company was there and saw it and he offered to make Pete a bat. And Pete was like, well, cool, you know. So they made him three or four bats. And then the very next game, the next day, he had three hits with the bat. And so a legend was born with the bat and Pete Browning. And he was he was the first person to have customized, you know, a company make bats for him. So custom made bats. I mean, they probably made their own, you know what I mean? But. He was the first one to have a company make his own bat. And since he had a stellar start with the bats, they asked if they could name the bat after him. You know, he was known as the Louisville Slugger. So he said, sure, why not? You know, so they hooked it up and the rest with the bat is history. Now, Pete Browning, on the other hand, he, uh, with his medical conditions and as hard as he lived, he just, you know, he just couldn't make it. He died at a young age at f of 44. He was in and out of a mental institution towards the end of his life. Lived with his mother from, in the house he was born in up until his death. Um, just a pretty wild uh, life he had there. On a side note, his nephew, he had a nephew named Todd Browning who in 1932 made one of my favorite movies of all time, a great horror movie. It's called Freaks. I highly suggest you check it out. I'll leave a uh, link to the trailer and the movie in the comments, and I hope you dig it. It's just a little something. I think uh, Pete Browning is an underappreciated uh, icon that needs to be a little more recognized, you know. And he was a lifetime 341 average hitter, and like I mentioned, three-time batting champion. He was just a wild, crazy character in the lore of baseball. Like I said, here's some more of that. It just talks about as he's a current player. But yeah, Pete Browning. Check him out. Let me know if you have any of uh, his cards. I know there's a few out there. I just haven't been able to, to actually see many. So uh, yeah, in the comments, let me know if you have any cards like Pete Browning or if you've heard of him or if you got a better Louisville slugger than I have, uh, this was a gift from a friend who we were at the batting company. We were at the place and for some reason or another, they gave him an extra bat and he didn't want to carry it around. So I was like, I'll take it. And that's how I got that. Well, all right. Thanks for watching. Hope you dug it. And let me know in the comments, please like and subscribe. 
and check you later.